Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from Midnight Garage. Today I will give this 1988 Honda Shuttle the 80s recessed tail light loop and I will of course show you guys how to do that. You don't need to remove the tail lights, but it's slightly easier if you do. First up, we start with a 3mm hose. We measure how long each part needs to be. We cut it and then we end up with something that looks like this. Next up, you need to make sure that the tail lights are properly clean. I personally like to use glass cleaner, but you can use whatever you like. Get some thin double-sided tape. I couldn't get double-sided tape that was thin enough, so I need to cut it into smaller strips. And once you have the smaller strips, place them over your tail lights where you want the exposed pieces to be. And now you simply place the hose over the tail light like this. And you can cut the excess plastic with an X-Acto knife like this and then we have something that looks a little bit like this which is close but not quite close yet so the next step is to tint everything so how do i do this i start wrapping from one side parallel to the recesses and work my way to the other side i make sure that i leave extra foil in between the recesses but i don't worry too much about the air getting stuck in between there at this point after that i use an exacto knife to cut away most of the excess foil then i use my heat gun to close up one side in this case the left side and then I start heating the foil so I can get rid of most of the air bubbles and I push everything from the right side to the left side. Once I'm done doing all that, I close up the other side with the heat gun and after that, all that is left is to cut away the excess foil and the best thing, which is to remove the protective film. And now we have something that looks a little bit like this, which is a whole lot better. So next up, we just repeat the process with the other parts of the tail lights. And then in the end, it looks a little bit like this. Now, three things I want to talk about. Number one, the cost and time. It cost about 20 bucks and it took me about two hours. And secondly, why did people do this? Well, the theory behind this was that once your car gets dusty, wind would come in between here and swoop some of the dust away, keeping your lights more visible. And that would be a little bit safer. Well, did that actually work? Well, you don't see them now anymore, so I'm guessing it didn't really work. But it does look pretty cool. And thirdly, I personally think if you do a modification like this, it will only look good on a period correct car. So a early 90s, late 80s car, something like this would look good. But if you have like a 2010 Honda Civic, it probably wouldn't look all that good. But I love to be proven wrong, so if you are going to do this on a late 90s car or a 2000s car, Post a picture on Instagram, tag me or DM me at the Midnight Garage and I'd love to see the result because uh, I'm very curious to see how that looks. And yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you did and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>